Let me show you something cool. So in this episode of Aston1936.com, I want to show you something just visually cool. Uh, it's not, normally I'm trying to teach you how to go out and do something on your own Aston Martin. This is my uh, 2005 DB9 Coupe. Now I happen to have mine apart a fair bit right now uh, because I'm doing my spark plug and coil pack change. But it dawned on me while I was t sitting here with everything wide open and I own this really cool uh, bore scope where essentially I have a camera on a flexible stick, an HD camera that I can stick into very small places. And I thought, well, while I have the intake ports and the spark plugs uh, out, why don't I run a camera in and let's see what's, uh, what condition my intake valves are in. And we'll go actually inside the cylinders and we can check for um, what condition the, the cylinder walls are in, what the piston looks like, what's the carbon buildup. This is more or less just eye candy for you to enjoy, but I could see a, um, one valid reason for this. If you're worried that your cars may be ingested uh, ceramic particles from a primary cat failure, if you've done a compression test, and you can see my video on how to do a compression test up here, and found that one of your system cylinders is low on uh, pressure, uh, you might be worried about scoring of the cylinder walls from those ceramic particles that might have made their way into your engine. Well, this would be a way for you to run uh, the camera in through the spark plug hole and actually see the scoring on the cylinder walls, or more importantly, review the inside of the cylinder wall and see there's no scoring and you don't have a problem with that. So anyways, with all that sort of groundwork set, let's get down to the sort of the fun part. So this is my uh, Autel MV480. Uh, there's lots of, uh, borescope cameras you can get. You can get some that just attach to your smartphone. I picked this one because most of the cheap cameras have a really low quality, low res picture. Uh, this one actually does HD, so or close to HD. So I was keen to use this one. And so let's take a start out by looking at the intake port. So uh, in here I have all the intake manifolds pulled off and we can actually see down here, this is the intake port for cylinder one, cylinder two, cylinder three. And I'm gonna use my inspection light. I'm just gonna throw it on the top here. So I'm throwing some extra light down the hole. We can take the camera and we can run it down into the intake port. So I have my shop light, just throwing a little extra light in the hole. But you can see here, if I guess get this lined up right, a beautiful shot of the forward intake valve. And you can see I don't have any carbon buildup, so I've been using good fuels. You can actually see the valve guide. You can even dive right in where you're getting almost down to literally the point where you're looking at the valve seat. This valve is in great condition. And I can go a little bit to the back, and now I can take a look at the rearward uh, of the valve. Same beautiful condition, uh, no carbon buildup. The seats look great. So that's cool, but there's one other cool thing we can do here is I'm gonna switch over to look at cylinder number four. And if we're lucky, what we're gonna find here is that the valve is actually open and we can actually peer. So the valve is in the open position and we're actually now looking past the tip of the valve into the combustion chamber and that flat flying saucer we're seeing there is the uh, exhaust valve on the opposite side of the cylinder. We can even see a little bit of the cross hatching on the cylinder wall. Um, we can go in, that was looking through the forward port, and this is through the rearward exhaust or intake port. And look at that, we can see another one of the exhaust valves. And if your spark plugs were installed, you'd actually see the spark plug tip sticking down here as well. So that's pretty cool. Another cool thing we can do is we can actually run the camera straight down the spark plug hole. Uh, here we go. So I'm going down in uh, cylinder number two here and we can see the spark plug seating area and we're actually gonna go into the spark plug hole. And lo and behold, we're now looking down at the top of the piston 
for cylinder number two. And so that you can see some carbon buildup on the piston crown. Uh, and you know, we can have a little bit of look around. So we're I'm gonna bring the camera back out. And what I found is if I put a little bit of a bend on the camera, I still have to get through the spark plug hole, but I'm gonna to try to look at the cylinder wall condition. So we'll sneak this back in. Hopefully I can get down the spark plug hole. And now I'm aiming kind of to get over there and look at that. So that's the piston on the, the right hand side and the cylinder wall has that beautiful crosshatch pattern on the left. That crosshatch pattern, as I rotate the camera around, is exactly what we want to see. We want to see those nice diagonal honing marks from when it was at the factory getting created. What we're looking for that would be bad news would be vertical straight up and down scratch marks. As the piston goes straight up and down, you'd, if there was ceramic in there, you would see these vertical lines and that would be a sign that you have some serious engine deterioration. So this looks great. Um, and, you know, I'm pretty happy that my cylinder walls are looking off factory fresh and have a lot of life left in them. So hopefully you enjoyed that bit of eye candy. Down here you're going to find a link over to my companion website, aston1936.com. Up here you'll find a link to a more recent video, maybe something to do with changing the spark plugs and coil packs. If you like to get videos like this, please go ahead and subscribe um, and you'll get automatically notified when they come out. And as always, I'd love to hear your comments. Please leave those down below. Thanks for watching.